The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Super Bowl 51 was one of the most exciting football games ever played. But did you know that it was also a record-breaking night? In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the top five records that were broken in Super Bowl 51. Coming into Sunday's game, there had never been a Super Bowl that went to overtime. In 51 years, it had never, ever happened. But that all changed on Sunday night when the New England Patriots came back and forced overtime against the Atlanta Falcons. One of the craziest situations that we've ever seen in any sporting event, let alone the biggest sporting event in the country. Sure, in the past, there had been games that came down to the final play, or even ones that were won by a field goal as time expired. But Super Bowl 51 was the first time that two teams were dead even as the regulation clock expired, forcing the first overtime in Super Bowl history. While he didn't get recognized as the Super Bowl MVP, New England running back James White will still have his name etched in Super Bowl immortality. White caught an astonishing 14 passes for 110 yards and a touchdown in the game, breaking the record previously held by Denver wide receiver Demarius Thomas, who caught 13 passes in Super Bowl 48. The 14 catches made White just one of 13 players and just the fourth running back in history to record double-digit catches in the big game. If that wasn't enough to solidify White's place in history, he also added six carries for 29 yards and two touchdowns, including the game-tying score with just seconds left on the clock and the game winner in overtime. Following the game, New England quarterback Tom Brady was quick to give credit to his teammates, particularly running back James White, who Brady believed should have won MVP of Super Bowl 51. While White certainly had a night to remember, it's hard to deny that Brady himself was incredible. The future Hall of Famer set multiple records on the night, including most completions with 43 and a slew of career Super Bowl marks, including most total appearances with seven, total passing yards, passing completions, passing attempts, and passing touchdowns. But while the Patriots QB had his struggles early in Super Bowl 51, his most impressive individual accomplishment has to be the 466 total passing yards that he accumulated against the Falcons. For that, Brady is certainly worthy of the Super Bowl MVP award and his record-tying fifth Super Bowl ring, tying him with only Charles Haley as the all-time winningest player in Super Bowl history. There have been some incredible coaches over the years in the NFL, but none of them have done what New England's Bill Belichick did by winning his fifth Super Bowl champion as a head coach. Belichick also broke the record for most total appearances ahead as a head coach in the Super Bowl with his seventh appearance. What's perhaps most remarkable, though, about the Patriots dynasty is that unlike most sports dynasties from the past, this team is doing it in the salary cap era. While the rest of the league has had tremendous shift from year to year, the one constant has been the Bill Belichick-led New England Patriots. A lot of talk will be about Tom Brady being the best quarterback of all time, and rightfully so. But there's a real argument to be made that the man with the hoodie is not only the best coach in the league today, but perhaps the best ever to coach this great game. In today's world of instant social media reactions, sometimes we can get a little overzealous with our reactions during sports events. And so when the Patriots fell behind and eventually by as much as 25 points, it made sense that a good number of fans and even media personnel were quick to bury the Patriots before the game was even over. But if there's one thing we've learned, it should be that we should never count out a team coached by the incomparable Bill Belichick and quarterbacked by the great Tom Brady. Sure, there were moments of frustration and there appeared to be an insurmountable hill to climb, but the Patriots stayed strong on the sidelines. They never gave up. They trusted in themselves and their teammates. And one score at a time, they climbed back into the game 
until with less than a minute left, James White plunged into the end zone, bringing the team within two points. A two-point conversion pass to Danny Amendola later, and the game was headed to overtime. When it was announced that the Patriots had won the coin toss and elected to receive the ball to start overtime, you could just feel that the momentum had completely shifted in their favor. It was no surprise that Brady led the team down the field to score the game-winning touchdown, completing the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. So that's your top five list for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more NFL top five lists and Madden Ultimate Team content. Thanks for the support and I'll see you next time.